it is hot up here. You're watching Mama on the Prairie where I share my journey of living an intentional lifestyle within a co-housing community. Today I'm going to be talking about what the difference is between co-housing and a commune. Let's start with the similarities. Number one, intentional communities. Both co-housing and a commune are intentional communities. An intentional community is where a group of people live together voluntarily and have a high degree of shared work and collaboration. Usually in an intentional community, there is some sort of similar belief system. For example, there are a lot of co-housing and commune communities that build their home around eco-centered sustainability. Number two, shared resources. In co-housing and communes, resources are shared such as property tools and skills. Number three, egalitarian and group decision making. In both co-housing and communes, everyone has an equal say in decisions. There is no hierarchy. Number four, shared emotional bonds. In co-housing and communes, close relationships are both valued and harbored. Number five, shared responsibility for upkeep of property. In co-housing and communes, the residents are responsible for the upkeep of the property. Work and tasks are often completed together in order to help build those relationships. Let's talk about what the differences are. Number one, in communes, property is owned by the commune. This can include structures such as housing and barns, and it also can include vehicles. Along those lines, living spaces are also owned by the commune and not by individuals. Unlike co-housing, where each of us has private space that we own and pay a mortgage on individually. Difference number two, little to no personal property. In some communes, it is practiced that individuals will surrender all personal belongings upon their arrival to the commune community. Number three, and this is a big one, communal economy. In communes, members share 100% of income. In co-housing, I make my own income and it belongs to me. In communes, any income that's made by the individual will go back to the commune. And in return, the commune will provide everything that a person would need, such as meals, clothes, vehicles, housing, etc., etc. It's important to note that oftentimes people that live in communes also work together. For example, in eco villages, people may actually work on a farm that's owned by the commune, and then they're able to actually sell the produce that they make each year. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.